Okay, thank you very much for the invitation, Erwin. It is a great honor for me to be able to, to tell something about the Viennese experiences and field of composting, but first of all in the field of bio-waste separate collection because it is absolutely necessary to produce compost with high quality, which we are trying to do in Vienna. The shame of this conference, Danube countries are very, very interesting also for us. And for me, for me personally, because if you maybe can recognize in my name, my origin is Polish. And Poland is also a, a country which is connected with the Danube because we have a very, very small uh, catchment area in the south of the, of the country, in the Tatra Mountains, which is going, the, the water is going to the Danube. I'm very proud of it. So, the city of Vienna, I'm responsible for waste management planning and the strategic planning of the city of Vienna, in particular on bio waste management and composting, separate collection, all of this which is together with this theme. At the beginning, some figures, maybe only to be able to, to have an uh, overview about the city. We have at the moment about 2 million inhabitants, and we are capital of Austria. And we're within in Lower Austria, but we are not a part of the Lower Austria. If you can maybe mention, uh, there are some some uh, problems between these two provinces because there are other political orientation. But as far as uh, compost and land and ground and, and and soil is concerned, there are no differences between us, and I'm very happy we can cooperate together since. Um, 1988 or something like that. Well, separate collection for the city. Uh, there's only an overview about our pictograms of containers we have um, established for separate collection. These two yeah, this what is for us interesting bio waste collection and, and kitchen waste collection both is coming to the recycling and very important of course the biotone the bio waste collection which we have in the city established at the end of 80s and um, of course this collection system has been increased till today and how it op is operating i will explain you well um there are two um areas we uh, where we collect waste separately of course it depends on the on the population density in in a less densely populated area, each property has a known composting or bio waste container for separate collection. And in <coughs> densely populated areas in the city, these bio waste containers are located on these uh, places. We have about 4,000 of such places, and you can see, among other containers, also the bio waste container, which is here located. Well, um, of course, uh, the the collection of bio waste is a is a kind of of tightrope. It's very difficult to find the good quality of bio waste and to have enough amount of the waste we have to we would need. And that's why we try. We have tried. We have at the beginning we located this bio waste. Uh, containers only in less densely populated areas, one family houses, two family houses, and so on. And we went towards the city step by step. And a very important thing of our concept was also that we have first asked ourselves, what are we going to do with the compost? Which is the best application of it? And so we, 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 went, we, we were together with Lower Austria because it was for us an example how to operate and how to deal with agriculture. Well, uh, the amounts of the waste we collect separately. You can see here the most important amounts. This is the bio waste here. And this is the paper here and the other separate collections. About 350,000 tons a year and about 100,000 tons a year has been are being collected separately of bio waste. We had tried to establish a closed loop of composting in Vienna from beginning from the beginning collection, processing, composting, also production of potting soil 
and use, which very, very important in the first place, is the using of compost in agriculture. Well, another <coughs> very important uh, point of our concept is this shame of three pillar recovery model. You can see, uh, you, you can remember from the, from the school, the three pillar systems are absolutely, theoretically, absolutely stable. You know? And these three pillars for us is composting, is biowaste digestion and production of biogas, and also incineration. All of us, we know uh, there are some biowaste which are very, very proper uh, for composting. There are some that are absolutely not possible to be composted, as for instance, liquid biowaste. And there are also enough biowaste which can be neither composted nor biogest, uh, di di digested. And this has to be incinerated. And that's why it's for us none of these three points are more important or less important. Others are very important. But we, of course, were concentrators today on the first pillar on composting. What I wanted to say is also the base of this, of these three columns here. This is public service. And this is very, very important for me to impress it, that all of activities we have in the city of Vienna are in the hands of public property. There are no private companies which are dealing for us. We make it on our own because we have the responsibility for, for the citizen, for the people, and we are absolutely um, in the opinion it is the best way to organize the waste management and also composting. Well, some main points of our bio waste management concept. First, the bio waste collection in Vienna is not a waste disposal pathway. Materials not needed to produce of compost are to, not to be se collect, se separate, uh, collected separately. It means we collect only what we need for the production of high quality compost, or not only because this waste is biological degradable. Yeah, um, a very special thing for us in Vienna, and there's a big difference to other countries and other, diff other regions or cities, is that we collect only green waste, vegetable waste, both from the garden as, as, as well as from household or the kitchen. But we, what, we don't to have, what we don't want to have in our, in our uh, bio waste containers is uh, meat and bones and so on. That's many reasons. First, the amount of, it, of this waste is very less in the kitchen waste. But the problems we have with the collection of this waste are very big. Smell, uh, other problems, and also, you, you will see we have an op open composting plant and we don't want to have any, any uh, troubles and problems with this kind of, 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 of uh, things. Well, it is also the connection to the EU, EU regulation 1069 about animal byproducts. We, want, we don't want to have any connection to this kind of, of materials. Um, Okay, on the final product of, 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 of compost, of this process, the compost must be rich in humus and must have a high quality. And the high quality of compost is, cannot, can only be rich when we have a high quality of the materials which we use for the composting. It's a very, very important thing. Well, there's, of course, some uh, things we don't collect for bio waste, and this is the big a second big difference to other systems, then what we don't want to have in our collection are bioplastics. No, we don't want to have it. Because for us, it's composting and bio waste, as I mentioned, not a, a pathway of, of compost, of, of, of waste. And uh, many of uh, responsible people, also politicians, mean, okay, if I have uh, bio waste plastics, I can put it into the bio waste containers and it will be the kind of, uh, of recovery or, or recycling. It's not. The bio, the bio plastics had nothing to do with the composting, no benefits of it. We have at the end of the process only CO2 and water 
and energy, we lose it. That's why we say all of plastics, also bioplastics, must not be put into the bio waste, but only into residual waste and to be incinerated afterwards. The only exception is a very, very thin bag, plastic bag, which can be used and should be used as a help for collection for bio waste at home. It, it may be put into the bio waste, but only if it's full with bio waste, not only separately. So, and some, some information about it and also not, uh, not all which has the sign compostable is for us uh, allowance for putting it into the bio waste container. This is our composting plant. There is another photo on the next uh, slide. There are some information about this composting plant established 1991. That treatment capacity is about 150,000 tons a year input. At the moment we have about 100,000 tons and we produce out of it about 50,000 ton compost. We are close to the farmers. It is a very convenient location at the at the rent and the, and the, and the, and the border of the city, close to the Lower Austria. Uh, but there's no inhabitants around it. It's very, very important. As this, uh, it has a very high uh, economical efficiency because we have no machines, we have no uh, aeration, we have no buildings uh, which can be, uh, as you know, if a compost in, an, in, an, in a box, in a an, in an, in an hole or in a an, uh, building, there's, uh, there are many problems with corrosion, there are many problems with entering into this area because of the gases which are inside of it. We decided to not to go in this direction. It was uh, the end of 80s and that's why uh, we have this composting plant in this way. Well, this is a, a quite new photo of this composting plant. You can see how it is operating. Um, but for many of us, for you who know how composting is operating, isn't it? This is, this is okay. So, and some information and inputs for composting utilization. And though this is what I have mentioned in the beginning, um, the agriculture was a, from the very beginning the very most important uh, uh, partner of us. And we have in the city of Vienna, we have our own department for agriculture and also our own agriculture itself. We have 2,000 hectares of land we use agriculturally as a farming land. And we decided to change this farming from conventional to, to ecological, compo ecological farming. It means we have within of the boundary of the city of Vienna, 2,000 hectares of biological farming, which is, this had a big history because the city of Vienna after the first uh, world war decided to have enough agriculture within this, this, uh, the, the boundaries of the city to be able to provide the people with food in a case of war or something else. Now this is still today, this, uh, uh, you know, the one, one of the, of the, of the politician pillar, pillars of, of, of the city of Vienna. Well, we have produced, as I told you, about 50,000 ton compost. This is very fine sieved, 10 millimeters. And <coughs> at the moment, about 5,000 tons are going to the agriculture for this own agriculture. And also, at the moment, a lot of it, most of the compost we use for the production of, of, of potting soil. There's a big company in Vienna which produces for, for the market. And also for us, we have an, an, an own uh, potting soil. You can see it's the bags. And uh, the name of this potting soil is Guter Grund. In German, it has two meanings. <coughs> On the one side is uh, a, a good soil, on the other side is a good reason to do something. That's why we chose chosen the um, this this title the title of the of title of this of this composting uh, uh, potting soil. There is a very very um, close cooperation with uh, with the science. We have uh, we have seen Dr. Hartl on the on the movie as our partner for many years. And uh, we try to find out what is the best method for ac application of compost in the organic farming. And this is uh, one of the reasons why we uh, 
have it together with uh, with, uh, with this comp with this uh, uh, science group. Well, the second pillar is the digestion. Maybe for us at the moment not so important because we are talking here not about the compost which can be used for the agriculture, but only because I have mentioned the second pillar. I wanted to show you how we operate with it. This is a, a facility which has been started 2007. You have the capacity of, at the moment, 22,000 tons and uh, of 34,000 tons can be, and we produce methane in uh, about uh, 1.2 million normal cubic meter a year, which has about 99% of CH CH4. It is the same as we have as in the gas pipeline um, and we use it for energy uh, recovery. Well, that's it. There's a cars which which we um, which we use for the collection of kitchen waste. We have no collection of kitchen waste from private households. It's very important. This is only the system for companies, for big restaurants, and so on. There is obligation for the owners of these companies to have such a, a, a collection. They have to uh, to do that, and we offer it for companies and use this kitchen waste for producing of compost of biogas. There is a connection to our bio waste collection also because we collect about seventy thousand tons of bio waste within the, co the, the, the containers. Sixty thousand tons are coming from densely populated area, and ten thousand tons a year are coming from less. Others from less densely populated, obtained from the city, from densely populated areas, and these are very, very, very often very uh, high impurity content of this waste. Unfortunately, and there is no possibility, really, no possibility, to to convince the people not to do, not to put um, waste which is not not allowed to be put into bio waste in, in, into the container. There's a cut of kind of, of tight job that I told you. We have to try to have in enough um, amount, but we must be very, very careful in the quality of it. And uh, this 10,000 10, tons we have from the collection in the densely populated areas are going also to the biogest digestion together with the uh, liquid rich, uh, kitchen waste. Climate relevance of bio waste management it can be directly on indirectly uh, co2 emissions reduction here you can see um, an example for direct co2 emission reduction which means compost if i use it in the in the agriculture first of all in the organic farming if i put carbon into the boat into the soil and it's remains for many, many years into the soil and cannot be uh, changed to CO2. We also have a very less emissions of N2O, which is in the, in the normal, in the conventional farming, much more higher as it is in the, in the, uh, in the organic farming using compost. And also, if we pro pro produce um, potting soil, we can also uh, re re repeat the, uh, uh, the, the pit deflation. It means we can also uh, make here a, a benefit for the climate, not using the pit. And, and indirectly, uh, many paths, ways we can sign for CO2 emission reduction, as for instance, not not using uh, mineral fertilizers and so on, not using of, uh, uh, of fuel, fossil fuels for, for the production of this fertilizer and so on. It is well known, but it's, I think, important, first of all, in the situation that in the nowadays when we are talking s so much about, about climate change, to, be, to know it is also a very important benefit and a very important contribution for climate change in, in, in the meaning of, of avoiding of it. Well, and uh, this is something which is for you uh, maybe very important. We have together with Bioforschung Austria, uh, we made 
a, a lot of different comparisons. And this is one comparison. These both fields are neighbor fields, you know, close together. And one is without compost and the other one with compost. And you can see what happens with the rainwater after the very, very heavy rain. If we have a, a soil with many years of compost using and otherwise the same, the same uh, culture and the same soil without it. Well, we have also new approaches and, and challenges. One new approach for us is the using of phosphorus. We have, all of us, have problems with sludge, what to do with it. Small communities may use it in the agriculture, it is also useful, but for the city of Vienna it is impossible. It means we have to incinerate it, but till today we have incinerated it together with other ways. It means we, we could not use the ash after the incineration as a, as a source for, 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 for phosphorus. That's why we decided to change this method and to incinerate the sludge separately only without any, any additional fuels, any additional waste to be able to get ash with very, very high quality and less contents of heavy metals, especially of, 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 of uh, uh, lead. And the amount of phosphor in ash of the after, the, after the incineration of, of, of um, slash is very high. You can use it, and we have, uh, we have also another project with Bioforschung Austria at the moment to be able to, to increase uh, the phosphor uh, um, amount which is possible to be taken by the plants by biological methods, not only with acid, which is a very normal way, but also with biological methods. We will see at the end of, of this and next year how the results are. And another uh, challenge is the European Union. They want us to, everybody, it means each, each member state, of course, we have to do the same in a similar way in the city of Vienna, to, uh, to aim 55% recycling of, of municipal waste till 2025, and even 65% until 2035. It's very, very difficult. We have at the moment about 35, 36, 37% of the whole <coughs> municipal waste uh, recycled. We have to increase it. And the way uh, via separate collection is possible, but it is not only what we can do. That's why there is this three um, <coughs> steps. This, the, the primary step, it would be the increasing of separate collection, of course. The second is the, the getting of, of materials from the waste stream. But it's possible for metals, it's possible maybe for papers, for plastics, but not for bio-waste. Because bio-waste in the, in, the, in the municipal waste is very, very heavy impurity. And the, and the third pillar of this method is getting of the residual from incineration, from bottom ash, it may be used for getting out glass and also metals. Bioways is an absolutely uh, separate problem. And at the end, I wanted to, to show you how difficult it is. We have also made some studies and comparisons to find out which is uh, uh, how high can be the recycling quota depending on the population density. And this is absolutely sure. The higher the population density, the lower the quota of recycling. You cannot change it. But we have to find out a way to get the best of it. This is the kind of pet shop that I told you today. How to do it is difficult, but it must, must be done if you want to achieve these quotas if you want to produce more compost from the bio-waste. Well, 
Thank you very much for attention. And if you have questions and discussion, I'd be happy to be able to do that. Thank you very much.